welcome back to a new vlog. I know it's been a while since I've done a vlog and I really miss it so I decided I would pick up the camera and start vlogging today. It's just been really hard because I've been traveling a lot. Well, I went to New York if you saw my New York vlog and I've also had a lot of people come visit me in Miami so it's kind of hard to vlog when you have people visiting but right now it's Saturday so I thought it'd be the perfect day to vlog and I'm just kind of running some errands today doing some shopping and like doing things around the apartment so I thought I would vlog for you guys and yeah let's get into the vlog I'm gonna have to change out of these sweatpants but these sweatpants are from PacSun they're like this little tie-dye I have some Poshmark things that I need to drop off at UPS um, because I put some new stuff on my Poshmark. So if you guys want anything, I just uploaded a bunch of new things, tons of bikinis and um, other clothes. I just been like going through clothes. I still have, what is that? Oh my gosh, I thought there was something on the camera. It's just a glare. Um, I still have a couple like drawers of clothes, like active wear clothes that I wanna go through. So I'll have my Poshmark link down below. It's just, I think poshmark.com slash Meg Um My username is just Meg Doosnap, or maybe it's Megan Doosnap, I don't know. I'll have it linked down below. But um, yeah, so I just have to drop off some of these Poshmark packages and do an Amazon return. I bought this um, a heating cap. It's for like conditioning your hair. My hairdresser recommended it. But this one that I got is just so big and heavy. So I ordered a different one. But basically you microwave it and you put your deep conditioner in your hair. And then you microwave this and put it on your head. And it just like opens the pores in your hair and makes the conditioner work better. Um, so she recommended that I do that since I have blonde hair. I get it highlighted, but I am naturally blonde. So I still really have to take care of it. But my hair is actually feeling so healthy lately and it's because I'm using some new products and actually I'm just gonna show you guys the products that I'm using. So okay, now I'm in my shower. <laughs> but um, I'm using Olaplex. So I've always known Olaplex has had really great products but I didn't know they had a daily conditioner and shampoo. So I've been using the number four daily shampoo and the number five conditioner. And then I also bought this number eight, which is an intense moisture mask. So they recommend that you use this two days a week and leave it in for like five to 10 minutes. And I actually noticed such a difference in my hair. And I love the shampoo because it actually like lathers up and makes my hair feel clean. Since I have really thin hair, I don't like to use anything that's too heavy or too moisturizing because I feel like it leaves residue on my scalp and then it doesn't feel fresh and clean for long. So I'm really loving these products. I highly recommend, I think they're like $28 a piece. So it's really not too bad or just like, into investing in your hair and want to keep your hair healthy. So I feel like not everyone knows that Olaplex just has like daily conditioners and shampoos that you can use. I got from Aritzia and if you guys didn't know Aritzia makes masks now but it's just like a cotton mask and I really like this one it's just a black one I got it in New York City while I was there and because we don't have um, Aritzia stores here in Miami so I went to three Aritzia stores in New York because <laughs> I wanted to like see everything in person I know like you can shop online and stuff but I'd rather just see everything in person so um, yeah, but I bought a couple of their masks. They're pretty inexpensive. I think it was maybe eight or ten dollars This is just a black one and I have like multiple variations like different materials They have like a sports one one that's ruched a silk one Maybe and like a cotton one they have like a couple of different ones So now I'm gonna go drive to Starbucks and get a coffee. I don't know what I want to get today It's been a while since I went to Starbucks and got a coffee, but I'm literally sweating So I'm gonna put the AC on full blast So I got a vanilla sweet cream cold brew with extra sweet cream because I like it very light and I know this isn't the healthiest drink but like I said I usually don't 
get Starbucks anymore. I just have my coffee at home and I think I just spilled it. So I have to clean that. The stuff I picked up today while I was out shopping and I pretty much was getting more stuff for my kitchen I'm trying to cook more at home now so I needed some extra supplies and stuff for like meal prepping first I went to Target and I got these Pyrex glass bowls with lids so they're like containers you can meal prep and put in the refrigerator so there's three of them and these are like the small size I got the ones with the baby pink lids so those would be helpful and then i also went to home goods first i got some more silverware and i'm really picky about my silverware i really like this brand that you can find at home goods and i just got a full set of silverware next i got another pot <laughs> this is exciting stuff um this is what this pot looks like and it's really nice quality i love the top of it like you can see um, it's like a rubber material. I also got a new strainer or like colander. Is that what people call it? Yeah, this one I thought it was really cute how it's like black and very like sleek and modern. I just try to like get things that match my whole vibe and aesthetic for my apartment. Even if it's like home stuff, I like it all to match. And the last thing I got is super cute. I've seen this brand places, but it's called Porter. And I know they sell it at like Nordstrom and stuff. But basically, it's just a brand that makes glass bowls. And they have this one, which is light pink. I think it's so cute. Easy to take on the go or just like to put in my fridge. But this is what that looks like. And it's like a rubber material, the pink. And then it has the glass. That's my little home haul. And now that I have all this stuff, I'm going to cook dinner. Because it's almost 8 o'clock and I still haven't eaten anything yet. So I'm about to do that. So I got this nude taupey color beaker bottle and this is the one liter. I got this to encourage me to drink more water because like two liters is what's recommended daily. So I thought this was going to be helpful and I have a smaller one right here. This is the 16 ounce bottle in this baby pink and I just thought these two colors look good together. So I ended up getting this one liter bottle. This color is called dough if you guys are wondering. And um, I highly recommend these bottles for some reason it makes me drink more water So I'm really excited about this purchase and I also bought this brush that they sell on their website Which is to clean it inside because if you can tell it's kind of hard to clean inside of there If you don't have a specific brush for it, so I just bought this one off their website Just picked up an order from one of my new favorite healthy cafes in Miami. It's called Green G and it's in Edgewater and they have some of the best acai bowls. This looks so good. I love how they just put it together and it's like chocolate and then I like how they have the granola at the bottom because I find when it's on the top I end up like eating it all first. So they put it at the bottom and I just kind of like mix it in and then the other thing that I always get from them is this um, avocado toast. And it's on Ezekiel bread. It has chia seeds. It has some like sour cream, like vegan sour cream and then goji berries. And it's so good. It looks small, but it's actually really filling. So if I just don't feel like making something at home, I'll order this. So 
I just wanted to go shopping and do a return and I was gonna walk around Lincoln Road Mall if you guys are from Miami it's like an outdoor mall and I got a coffee because I'm really tired and I really need something to pick me up and I was gonna do shopping but then it just started torrential downpouring so now I'm back in my car with a full coffee it keeps spilling all over me because it has like a little crack in the lid but I really wanted to go into Brandy Melville because there's one here and see if they have like the Miami sweatshirts. You know how they have like New York or Boston? I wanted to get a Miami one, but they close at six. So I guess they like have individual hours for every store. So I guess now I'm just gonna go home. This is insane. There's a flash flood warning. I just got text on my phone. So hopefully I get home. I don't know what these people are doing.